Welcome everybody to NetCorp short series about technology and software development. Um, and my name is Pavel Bauklin and I'm your host today. And today we're gonna talk about multi-cloud versus uh, single vendor cloud provider. And we have today an excellent guest to talk about it, Maciej Rostanski, who is a PhD in computer science, certified AWS and Google Cloud architect and expert level, and one of the most talented cloud expert that I have had pleasure to work with in NetCorp. Wow, so, that, that's an introduction. Hello. <laughs> hey, Maciej. Hey, first Bob. of all, yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, can you uh, explain a bit the terminology? What is multi-cloud and what is single vendor cloud provider and, and what does it mean? Okay, so uh, first of all, when you think about cloud and you see all those terms about some cloud strategies and some cloud deployments, you may have come upon uh, something called multi-cloud, we may have come upon something called hybrid cloud, and these are the terms that they are totally different in nature, and we, we say hybrid cloud, we say about, uh, we, we are talking about an infrastructure that is deployed on the cloud and on some on-premise deployments and we say when we are talking about multi-cloud we are talking about a strategy when we deploy the deployment or parts of it on a different cloud provider platforms so we use different vendors from a huge variety of those available mm -hmm. so you might have like azure uh, aws google all, all mixed in there exactly but Mm -hmm. But what might might be the business reasons why somebody would want to move to the multi-cloud environment? Okay, so first of all, uh, there is a huge tendency uh, that uh, you may feel more safe when you are going multi-cloud. There are different uh, drivers for going multi-cloud, but most of mostly it's that you don't have to be locked in to a single particular cloud provider. You are not dependent of these cloud providers. Um, um, have services or costs. Uh, for example, if you are using some cloud provider, you can have some um, issues that maybe some 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 um, remarks that something is costly and this cost is only going to be bigger and uh, you may have be paying too much. Maybe on some other clouds is less costly or maybe mm -hmm. you expect that somebody will raise prices in some time or and it's, I think it's the most relevant problem. You may fear that this particular cloud provider may be gone in some time and mm -hmm. you will be left with a platform that is no longer operational. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so those are the, the, the most uh, important drivers for mm -hmm. such practice. And uh, somebody that um, will uh, praise multi-cloud will tell you that this is becoming new normal and those IT services mm -hmm. should be ready for it. And uh, in fact, they may be correct, but for a different reasons that I told you about. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. some deployments and some cloud providers tend to be a little bit um, oriented much more towards, for example, network uh, in global networking, or some cloud providers may be oriented towards a small costly, a small, smaller costs in the infrastructure. And you, there is a reason to deploy some parts of your infrastructure mm -hmm. in a different cloud provider environments. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it's basically diversifying your risk. Yep. Uh, that's, the, which... that's one of the most important mm -hmm. reasons. Well, from business perspective, it, it makes sense. But is it all good? Is it all a wonderful <laughs> story that, that, hey, makes sense? But is there a downside? And especially yeah. if you focus on the big ones. Yeah, and there is. To be honest, I'm not a much of an advocate of a multi-cloud in most uh, situations. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say that multi-cloud is just bad, and you shouldn't think about it. I'm just saying that those solutions and this strategy is only beneficial to a very specific case, and most of the time you will just uh, create some kind of a shadow IT for yourself when you will go multi-cloud, and you will not gain do those benefits that you think uh, you will gain. Because there is a trade-off. When you prepare your, your inf uh, in deployment, when you prepare your architecture to you be uh, deployed on a different cloud providers, you are basically giving away all those functionalities of a particular cloud provider. Mm 
you need to, for example, prepare your um, uh, software to use uh, typical open source platforms for queuing system, for example, while the cloud providers, one of the most uh, crucial benefits is to provide you with a prepared service for it. For example, PubSub in, in Google Cloud or uh, like uh, Kinesis in, in AWS. These are, uh, uh, this is a very, um, important uh, thing of the cloud providers, very important value of cloud providers that you have those services that basically enable you to just build from the uh, those parts and do not worry about functions and operational uh, stuff about those services. You don't need to have huge ops. When you will go multi-cloud, you are giving away all of that. And on top of it all, you need to build a team that understands uh, both or more than both, or maybe a couple of cloud providers, platforms in a huge extent, because they need to be able to operate on every cloud with your deployment. So these are the most important drawbacks to think about and wonder what are the benefits that you really need. If you are, if you are wondering if AWS or Google Cloud Provider or Asia, for, for instance, will just disappear and will just stop functioning. Well, I think that the risk of doing so is far lower than you can you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And it's also possible to migrate from one cloud to, cloud to another. Um, well, migration is something that you will need to be prepared to do, not to prepare it to already just uh, perform. You mm -hmm. can have, for example, some kind of an interfaces in your software to be ready to be replaced, to be able to operate in a different cloud platforms. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a business decision to compare if the risk is, is higher or the potential cost of uh, additional team capacity and lost capabilities, uh, which is more kind of uh, important for you. Yeah. Um, I would like to express this one thing that this is a business strategy, of course, but this business strategy needs to have a solid ground to be deployed, to be uh, evaluated, because it's not like that the multi-cloud is a next step of evolution of a typical cloud environment. No, it's not. It's just a functionality or capability that you may need, but most cases, will you? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, uh, Maciej, for, uh, for your input into this uh, section. Uh, uh, if anybody has any more questions to, uh, to me or Maciej about this topic, write to the address uh, listed uh, below here. And stay tuned and listen. Uh, see you soon in the next episode. Bye-bye. Okay.